What's up, everybody? This is Dr. Gain. I call myself the Genuine Scholar. Why? Because everything I do, I really try to do it from the heart. I want to welcome you to another episode of I Won't Settle TV. Now, over the last few weeks, your boy been talking about things going on in the world, and I like talking about those things, but some of you started watching this channel because of my relationship advice, so I want to make sure I still give relationship advice. And actually, I love giving relationship advice. Um, but for today's topic, what I want to talk about is something that I'm passionate about because it's something I dealt with. And I get people writing me all the time about this. Honestly, probably why a lot of people write me because they want to know how do you get over heartbreak. And I speak of this because I know what it feels like. So if you ever write me and I write you back and say, I know what you're dealing with, I dealt with it. I've been on both sides, honestly. I've been a person who has broken hearts and I've been on the side of having my heart broken. And so I understand. Did I study um, psychology and how the mind works? Yes. But I'm speaking from experience today. So y'all ride with me on this journey. Now, what I'm going to do is give three pieces of advice. This video is going to be kind of quick. But I want to give some general advice. And the reason I say general advice is because there's not a one size fit all approach to getting over heartbreak because each person, individual situation has uh, different factors that are, you know, play a part in how to get over heartbreak. And so I can't just give one approach to everybody's situation. It just doesn't work like that. But I can give some general information. So the first thing you have to understand, which is the most important thing, is that heartbreak or getting over heartbreak doesn't occur overnight. So you can't be heartbroken one day, go to sleep, and think you're just going to wake up like, I love the world. I love everybody. I just want um, to be in another relationship right now. You know what? I just want to be around all these people. It does doesn't work like that. Honestly, sometimes when you wake up from heartbreak and you, you had your heart broken, you don't want to talk to anybody. You are angry at the world. You are mad. You are crying. You are depressed. And that's understandable. So you have to understand that getting over heartbreak is uh, having your heart broken is not an overnight process because we want it to occur quickly because we are hurting. Anytime you're hurting, you just want to get over it. But it just doesn't happen that quickly because you invested so much into a person and they ran away with it. You gave them your time. You gave them your energy. You gave them your emotions. Sometimes you had a spiritual connection or you felt you had a spiritual connection. Your family know about this person. You may have kids. There are so many factors or so many things that you invested into this person and they ran away with it. And so now your mind is trying to make sense of that. So understand that getting over heartbreak is not an overnight process. Once you come to this realization, then you will do whatever it takes to get past heartbreak. And you will accept the fact that you're going to have some, some sad days. And that's okay. Okay, so the second piece of advice I wanted to give you about heartbreak is that you can't mask it with other things. It's easy to go out and get drunk. It's easy to probably smoke a little weed or something. It's easy to probably pop a molly or something because those things, what they do is mask the hurt that you're feeling. And so now you're in this euphoric feeling. You're feeling good. You're drunk, talking junk to everybody. Or you high, just feeling calm, eating a little something. You know, and now you're not thinking about that heartbreak. But the reality is that it's going to fade away. And whenever that all that euphoric feeling fades away, you still have to deal with the fact that you're heartbroken. This is why a lot of people, even when you're dealing with medicine and you're dealing with like some type of illness, or let's say I have a headache and I take some aspirin or something, that aspirin is dealing with the symptoms of that headache, but it's not dealing with the root of what caused that headache. And so when you're dealing with heartbreak, you have to actually face and accept the fact that you're heartbroken. And you have to deal with the natural emotions that comes with it. And that's grieving, that's crying, that's being angry, that's being upset, that's okay. Okay, that's not being weak, okay? Because some people make you feel like you're weak for having those emotions. That's called grieving. That's okay. It's okay to grieve. And that's dealing head on with what comes with heartbreak. But when you start masking it, you're not dealing with what the root of um, the situation, which is you being heartbroken. You're just masking it with another person. You bring another person in. What's probably going to happen is you can't trust that person because you're still dealing with the effects of the previous person. And so now you push this person away when they could have been a good person, but you weren't ready. But you were trying to mask the hurt with a new person. And so what I need you to understand is that you can be hurt and you can want to do other things to try to make it feel or to make yourself get over it. But it's not going to happen quickly and you can't mask it. So that's the second thing is don't try to mask it with all these other things with drugs, going shopping, eating ice cream, doing all those things. Because ultimately you're just masking the situation and you still got to deal with the heartbreak. So that's the second thing. Okay, so the final thing is understanding 
that there are brighter days. Now, I know you may be in a dark place right now. You may be sad, crying. You may feel like you'll never find another person. You may feel like you're not valuable anymore. Um, you're just going through all of these negative emotions. And so you don't see a brighter day. And that's okay because right now, honestly, I don't expect you to see a brighter day if it's fresh. So um, me being on the other side of things, I can see that brighter day for you because I went through the process and I've seen so many people go through the process when they were down and out, but now they're at a point where they're just happy in life again. And honestly, sometimes when you get to that brighter day, you realize that that person was no good for you anyway. But here's the problem though. You can get to that brighter day if you want to get to that brighter day because what happens is some people take their grieving, their anger, their them being upset, sad, um, crying, all that. They turn that natural grieving process into a self-pity process to where they want other people to feel sorry for them or they just want to sit back and just feel sorry for themselves. And so now what should be uh, three weeks of being angry, upset, crying, sad, and all that has now turned into two years of still being bitter, upset, mad, angry, and all those things because they didn't want to Move forward. They didn't want to get past that person. You have to want to get over heartbreak in order to get over heartbreak. So it's almost like driving your car in a storm. So now you driving your car in a storm and you riding and now you can be upset and angry and mad that you in this storm and like, dang, I ain't gonna ever get out this storm. I hate these weather conditions. Now you can either stop your car in that storm and allow it just to you to sit there and just be like, I'm just mad and it's raining and storming and all these things. So you just still sitting in that storm or you can keep driving towards that brighter day and just keep driving while you're still crying and you're, or whatever you're feeling, the emotions you're feeling, because then you're going to eventually hit that brighter day. It's the same thing when dealing with heartbreak. So you can be upset, angry, mad, but you have to still be working towards getting better. So some days you're going to have to force yourself to smile. Some days you're going to have to force yourself to be around people, but and that's like pushing through that storm, because then when you get to that brighter day, then things are going to be better. But if you just continuously sit there just being angry, don't talk to anybody, you keep everything to yourself, then you're going to honestly sit in yourself self-pity that's like sitting in that storm and you never come out of it and so you have to want to get over heartbreak okay and so what i need y'all to do um is one understand that it's not an overnight process two is i need you to understand that you can't mask heartbreak with all these crazy things and three is understand that it is a brighter day surround yourself around individuals who will listen to you surround yourself around individuals who you know won't judge you and surround yourself around individuals who will push you every day just to be a little bit better and then you won't settle you'll be over heartbreak after a certain amount of time and i can't give you a time frame because it's different for different people but it will happen and then eventually you're going to meet somebody who's going to treat you like the world and not somebody who's going to kick on your heart and make you feel like you're worthless so you find you'll find somebody that's good for you but it takes time but then that's going into some other things with you know some things you have to look to within yourself to see why you end up with people who break your heart and so those are some things you know how can we improve to put ourselves in a better situation we'll talk about that in some other um videos and things like that but um i wrote an article about this there are some other things that i felt like i needed to share but i wrote it in article form go to i won't settle.com um and check it out if you're dealing with heartbreak because i just wrote a new article about it so um i hope that y'all go check it out and i hope y'all appreciate these videos keep telling people about these videos subscribe if you haven't subscribed um and hopefully help your boy you know go up in this YouTube rank because I'm really out here trying to help people. I'm not entertainment. I don't do entertainment. I'm not trying to be entertainment. I'm never going to be entertainment because that's not who I am. I'm really on here to really help people. So help me get my videos out so I can really help more and more people because um, that's my calling. And so I, God bless all of y'all and have a beautiful day.